Greetings, future aviators of America. A high-flying welcome to the class of 1918 in the Thomas School of Aviation right here in Ithaca, New York, USA. 1918, what a momentous year it's been. The Great War is still raging in Europe, and now the influenza epidemic has reached our shores. Please don't call it the Spanish flu. It's not their fault. Let us pray that President Woodrow Wilson does not catch the virus. Now you can do your part by wearing your mask, hand washing, and distance, distance, distance. Now we'll have you up and flying again this afternoon, but first a special treat. We're here at the Brindley Street Airplane Factory for a tour of the place where these magnificent flying machines are made. Our host for the tour will be Mr. Oliver Thomas. Mr. Thomas is the co-founder of the enterprise now known as the Thomas Morse Airplane Company. He is also the co-founder of your alma mater, the Thomas School of Aviation. When he gets here, let's give him a warm welcome to the man who has brought jobs and prosperity to our town. He's here now. Students of the Thomas School of Aviation, Mr. Oliver Thomas. Thank you, Mr. Flight Instructor. It looks like you've assembled a fine bunch of student aviators here today. We can build the finest airplanes in the world, but they're of little value if we don't have the best pilots in the world to fly them. I know that you've all come here today to take a tour of our Brindley Street factory. We call it the wing plant. This is where it all started four years ago. My brother William and I moved our operations from Bath, New York to Ithaca. We also operate the engine plant down on Center Street and the hill plant up on South Hill. That's where we've combined forces with the Morse Chain Company to form the Thomas Morse Airplane Company. We are now one of the largest producers of military aircraft in the United States. As of this week, we are employing over 1,100 skilled workers to fill orders for the U.S. Army. The Army's chief signal officer has written us a letter describing how pleased he is with the work that we're doing to fulfill their need for a high-performance pursuit trainer. In full production, we're building six Tommies a day. As soon as they're built, they're loaded on rail cars and shipped to air bases all over the country. We're currently working on an order from the Army for another 150 S4C scouts. That's in addition to the over 500 Tommies that we've already manufactured. Excuse me, Mr. Thomas, the students are asking, when will the tour begin? Ah, well, we have a bit of a problem there. The Army has posted guards at all the doors, military secrets inside, you know. No one's allowed in. But they have taken some photos of the factory, which I can pass out to the students. Now, about our S4C scouts, they're powered by the nine-cylinder Lerone engine, which is manufactured for us down in Swissville, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? I'm surprised you couldn't find the engines in state. Well, have you seen our beautiful wooden propellers? They're made for us by Hardman Peck and Company, a piano manufacturer that's located in New York. In times of war, everybody has to do their part. Well, I'm sure those piano propellers will make beautiful music up in the air. Mr. Thomas, what do you see for the future of aviation? Ah, the future. We hope this war will be over soon. 
so that we can go back to commercial production. We have some drawings on the drawing board that we think will be very appealing to the aviation public. And in the future, I see Ithaca becoming a center of the aviation industry and of technological developments yet to come. Students, let's thank Mr. Thomas for this tour of the factory. That's all the time we have today. Any questions? Good. See you next class, and thank you for choosing the Thomas School of Aviation. Don't go away yet. We do have time for more questions. As usual, if you can stump the flight instructor, we get a field trip tomorrow. So give me your toughest questions. So airplanes are great, but can you tell me about the car that Mr. Thomas drives? What is the car Mr. Thomas drives? I have no idea. You see, you've stumped the flight instructor. Field trip tomorrow. Mr. Thomas, do you know? Yes, of course. It's a, a 1914 Moyer touring car, a six-cylinder car manufactured nearby in Syracuse, New York. Wonderful. Any more questions? What was this factory before they started making airplanes? Now that is a question I can answer because my Uncle Louie worked here. Before the airplanes came, they made incubators in this factory. You know how incubators work, right? Yeah, you have chicken eggs or fertilized eggs, so you need roosters involved. You put the eggs inside this warm box. After a couple days, the chickens hatch out and go on their merry way. Now, my Uncle Louie was still here when they changed over the factory. His job was to sweep up the eggshells, but he did get a job at the airplane factory, and he loves it because airplanes fly a whole lot faster than chickens. All right, that is all the time we have today. Thank you for choosing the Thomas School of Aviation.